Okay, well, welcome to uh, Self Steering 101. Uh, I've been reading from John Lecter's book on self steering and things on the internet. How you can get your boat to steer itself without using electric autopilot. And this is really attractive to us because we're very low on electri electrical capacity. And they're expensive and they're a pain in the ass and they can't cope with gusty weather either. So the other option is to buy a wind vane, mount it on the back, but that's a $6,000 option. So Captain Voss and, uh, and uh, John Lecter, old salt sailors, have often said, always saying actually, that you can make any boat steer itself by using the tension in the main sheath from the boot. Uh, so what you do is what I've done here is we've taken two pan cleats and mounted them each side of the tiller. On the combings here I've added a bracket and a swivel and a block. On the other side, on the opposite side here, we've got some a bungee cord with varying strength. I've got all different kinds of strength to match the wind which I've sewn with whipping twine and I've put a needle through as well. It's not just whipped, it's with a couple of needles through as well. And so um, and the concept is, is that at the moment we are uh, beam reaching, which means the wind is directly on the side of the boat. So as it changes course, say it comes up to the wind um, like this, the, um, the tension in the line increases because uh, the tension in the boom increases. This is connected directly to the boom. You can just as easily connect it to the main sheet. Uh, but I've connected mine directly to the boom. This is Spectra, by the way. It's expensive. But uh, it doesn't stretch, and so you don't lose your all your pull in the system somewhere to stretch. So, um, as it comes up to the wind, as it's happening now, a tension in the line comes in here and pulls the, um, uh, the tiller to windward and, turn, and turns us back off the wind again. Now, as we come on to course, the tension in the in this line from the boom becomes less and then the elastic takes over and pulls the tiller back and so as you can see it working here this is what's that i think we're about to uh, round up a bit with this gust here comes a gust of wind and so which makes the sails more efficient and uh and drives us into the wind so the tiller comes this way and takes us back on that that's it fantastically simple works like a dream can't imagine why everyone doesn't do it